Hello everyone and welcome to a video about the 2004 LEGO set, the Mini Imperial Shuttle. This was set number 4494 back in the day and with 82 pieces it retailed for $7 at the time. They don't really do these minis anymore, they do slightly smaller scale models in the poly bag size for around $4 or $5 now today, so... It's not something that really truly exists now, but this is probably, I think, the first attempt at a miniature Imperial shuttle uh, by Lego. And as such, it's a little rough in some ways. We'll take a look at the design and any of the playability, posability, and features of this thing. So first of all, what can move on this guy? It's really just going to be your wings. And they can go all the way down to this angle if you want. I think that looks kind of stupid, um, but that is there. Uh, normally, I think the wings probably would be somewhere around, oh, I don't know, here. But it does kind of showcase the, the sort shortcoming that this has, which is no stoppers for the wings. So really, to get it right, you're going to have to just fiddle with it. Also, there's no kind of stand. There are no clear pieces, so... You can't really display it like this unless you make your own stand. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to have to be in the parked configuration. And you're able to get the wings to a kind of pretty much straight up or maybe slightly inverted. Uh, but I don't think it really quite captures the angle sh shown in the movies uh, for when it's parked. Uh, not bad, but, you know, if, for this to be the only way to display it, it doesn't really look all that inspiring in this position. Uh, I guess su I suppose uh, these... Uh, sort of cannons, I think, on the wings. I think they're cannons. Can go up and down uh, on each side. So that's a little feature. These things can move all over the place if you want, but they probably shouldn't. I think those are supposed to be fixed cannons. Um, it has landing gear, which is just three cone pieces. Nothing too sophisticated and something that could very easily pop off. But if you don't have it, the cockpit is going to actually hang down and contact the ground first so the landing gear really are required there and as you can see with the landing gear down it just fits so if we want to talk about the design of the imperial shuttle it looks pretty rough it's a little rudimentary if i'm being honest something about this cockpit shaping just doesn't seem right it's nice that it's a printed piece but it just doesn't get the angles right at all just it's too square too too sharp of corners for this thing the Imperial Shuttle in-universe doesn't actually have too many sharp corners, despite its rather angular design. The fin on the top, I think, looks quite good. It's what it's supposed to look like. It hangs over a lot, but that's also true in-universe, so that's well represented. However, the fin is only held on by studs. It's all brick-built, so... Theoretically, that could fall apart pretty easily, although my pieces here are really tight, so it's definitely not going anywhere uh, anytime soon, but if these were to loosen over time, uh, definitely could be a concern. I think they did a good job representing this little tubular column thing on each side. Uh, they also got some thrust on the back. As you can see, I'm just constantly fiddling with the wings because it's hard to get them to just stay in the correct position. But there's a view of the back. It looks honestly pretty good this way. This might be its best angle, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, the wings themselves are pretty rudimentary, very study, not tiled off at all which I think kind of goes against the clean look. This is kind of just what LEGO was like in 2004, but still, the Imperial Shuttle is a very elegant and smooth ship in the universe, and this just doesn't really capture it. You do have little lights on the, uh, the tip of the fin here and on both of the wings. I think that's accurate to in-universe, and you just have a couple of grill pieces. Some light bluish gray dotted in to just kind of break up the white. And, you know, it's not so bad to have a second color to break up all of that white. So back in the day, this thing was $7, but now if you want to buy one new on a site like BrickLink, you're probably going to pay around $30. Now, if you get if you go used, it's going to be significantly cheaper, but you're risking yellowed pieces and, you know, scratches and dings, considering this is a 2004 set. And considering that LEGO has remade this thing multiple times since then in poly bag form, I just really don't think I can recommend this set Honestly, it looked better to me in pictures, which is why I bought it recently. 
you know, I was kind of looking forward to a, a set that would capture the nostalgia for the early Lego Star Wars feel. And while it does feel like early Lego Star Wars, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of lacking. It doesn't have anything fun about it that kind of elevates it. It's just an average to maybe more like mediocre attempt at an Imperial shuttle. So, you know, overall, you know, it's not bad for their first try at it, but Honestly, nowadays, I'd recommend just going for one of the newer ones. They're all pretty cheap on resale. I mean, relatively speaking, considering they're such cheap sets to begin with. So if you're really in need of an Imperial shuttle, I wouldn't recommend this one. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. Have a good one, y'all.